Hey guys, what's up? This is Ziploc Rules 2013, and welcome back to Let's Play Wii Sports Resort. Now, as you can see on my Wii menu here, Reconnect 24 is working fine. This Wii hasn't been on for too long. And I turned it on, all of the Reconnect 24 compatible channels were up to date, so standby connection is clearly working. And, um, you know, check me out channel, everybody vote channel, that was all up to date and, um, what have you. Now, unfortunately, my Me Parade still has not managed to collect any Mii's from the Check Me Out channel. And subsequently, I am afraid we are probably still going to be facing Nintendo AI for our table tennis ping pong venture. This is the next mini game we're going to be playing. We're going to be playing the one-on-one -on -one match mode. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm afraid, uh, unless the game pulls out some, uh, real trick on me here, that, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I do not believe the me import feature is working. So, that sucks. And, uh, that means we're gonna be stuck with Nintendo AI for this minigame. And, uh, that leaves only one other minigame that we can really show off. The Check Me Out channel of uh, functionality widths. So that sucks, and I'm afraid it's probably not going to work. But, uh, whatever. So this is going to be Table Tennis Match Mode. There are five stamps you can collect here. In your face. Uh, just whack your opponent in the face with the ping pong ball. Uh, pretty simplistic. Back from the brink. So occasionally the ball kind of catch the edge of the table, this white zone here. Basically just rescue the ball. And uh, you don't necessarily have to get the point, I don't think. But uh, just rescue it. Don't let it go out. And, uh, yeah, that'll give you a stamp. Epic Rally. 30 hits or more. This has to be more so deliberate early on. Although in the later matches, that can be just a normal rally, if you will. Perfectly matched. Both people uh, or both players score 20 points. And that is a draw. The Table Titan. Take down Lucia, the... Table Tennis Champion. So yeah, pretty standard stamps. And it is a skip, uh, sorry, six point game for uh, each match. And uh, I'm not really gonna describe how to play ping pong. I think if you've been on this planet more than six years, you know how ping pong works. Who the hell hasn't played ping pong? Um, although it does control a little, no, it controls mostly how you'd expect it to. Um, it's a lot different than we play ping pong. If you played that, you don't actually swing your paddle. Uh, the AI actually does that for you. As well as you don't even play as your me. It's just a living hand for some reason. It's really weird. Let me see if I can get... Oh, there you go. <laughs> Epic pwn. You always get a replay of uh, whoever got the point. Just in the face. In the face. That had to hurt. Uh, I mean, now uh, here, this is how you traditionally hold a ping pong. Uh, paddle. I'm actually gonna be So you can I mean technically in real life you can play like this using the uh, dark side uh, Facing the back and actually hitting with oh well yeah hitting with the red side That's not typically how you play in real life, but that actually is a bit more convenient here So I'll kind of be switching back and forth there um, you know, that, that, what I'm doing mostly is what you do in real life, but, um, <clears throat> it does work well the other way around, and it can be a bit more convenient at times, sometimes you really have to to make certain shots, and you get later on, you're gonna have some pretty wicked AI. Now Cole here, pathetic, he can barely return the ball to save his life. Uh, you get 150 points for getting a perfect match, it's in your face. So that's, yeah, now. Okay, so what you saw there, the ball kind of bounced off the side of the table. That's back from the brink if that happens to you on your side, and you actually return the ball. Yeah, right here, this would be a Check Me Out Channel AI if that feature were working. So I'm afraid we're not going to be doing that. Oh, yeah, right there. If this were a higher level match, I would have needed to hit with the other side of the racket. You knew kind of power shots right there. It's like, oh, no, I barely hit it. And you're just like, fuck you. So that can be helpful. Although you can, the opponent can do that against you. And uh, I don't think, yeah, there's no stamp for uh, returning one of those. But uh, they are pretty epic when you do return. Uh, oh boy, we got uh, whoever in the background there having, uh, 
What was that? Probably some sort of uh, alcoholic beverage. Maybe a margarita there on the other side of the table. Oh, look at that. Yeah, she returned that all right. Beach uh, chairs. I don't know why the chairs are pointed away from the uh, table here. You just can't see what we're doing. And there's n absolutely no one. Oh, see, if I had returned that, that would have been the uh, stamp. Uh, no one's swimming in the pool. That's odd. Um, as you, just like with sword play and whatnot, as you uh, grow in skill, you will get more. You'll get more street cred. You'll get more people watching you. Get some beach balls there. Those look like they're from uh, Wii Fit Plus. And, uh, of course, the uh, tennis court is actually to our right. You can actually kind of see it, maybe. If we get uh, the cavern to pan over there. Oh, no, she had to get socked in the face too quick. Shame on you. You couldn't let my viewers... Let the viewers enjoy the nice view in the background. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Just, excuse me. Don't let, uh, don't let the AI overtake you. Don't let them get six points before you. Uh, you can get to tiebreakers, and it goes up to 20 points, basically. So, um... I mean, technically, you can win with 21 points, but uh, that's uh, you have to go out of your way to do that. Now, Ian here, that is a shoe paddle there. Uh, he's using, like, his little slipper there from his hotel in the background to uh, hit the ball. You actually get to do that after you beat uh, Lucia, the champion. You, um, it's a button. It's a button sheet. You just uh, press 1 before the match, and you can actually play with that... Uh, Paddle. It makes a funny noise. You can probably hear it here. Um, I can't. My TV's turned down a bit. God. These people have uh, different uh, different patterns in which they hit the ball. And this guy's really weird. He likes to curve it. And it's kind of awkward, if I'm being honest. Um, I don't know. It's a little... It's just a little strange. Damn. I cannot get... A Get hit towards the edge of the table. I want to get as many stamps as I can here. I'm probably going to do my first uh, Twitch stream with this game. I'm thinking on uh, Friday. So the day after this goes up. Darn it, I hit it out. Obviously, don't hit off the table. That's not a good idea. And yes, it counts as out even if you go in the pool. No bonus points there. Be cool if you got bonus points. But, uh, nah, that does not work here. Uh, there is a way you can play an 11-point match here as well. First to 11 points wins. And actually, they, uh, it might seem kind of fast now, but uh, just the general gameplay when you're in the 11-point match is a lot quicker. Probably to compensate for how many points you have to get just so that the match doesn't take 20 years. Yeah, okay. It is kind of weird. It feels more natural in the game hitting like that from that side. Match point. You know, you never hit from the side of which your dominant hand, you know. That isn't really how that works usually. But uh, that oddly does work in this game. Uh, if you do that in real life, it never works. Um, I don't know. The only real rule here is that you have to hit the other side of the... Um, well, actually, no, this works generally in your uh, in your favor. Basically, oh, Eddie, weird-looking dude. <laughs> right from the cartoon, Eddie and Eddie, Eddie. Very strange-looking with his little stat, or his little, uh, goatee. Not even a goatee. What the hell is that? It's ugly. Oh, yeah, right there. That would have been. Do not hit the ball before it hits the ground. If it's going to go out, let it go out. It is a penalty if you hit it beforehand. And uh, it's not one you want to take. And Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, that's an example. You do have to switch sides. That's annoying. What a bitch. Look how quick he did that. He returned that pretty quick, man. Yeah, it's not... Normal to do that in real life, switch sides, but you kind of have to do that here. Oh, he tried returning it. It didn't work. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, okay, so make sure it hits the table before you hit it. You know, if you really quickly go for the ball and it doesn't... I'm just trying to switch sides. If, it, if you hit it in the air before it hits your side of the table, 
that's a penalty point for the opponent. There's no uh, air rallying like you might try and do in real life. I had a buddy in uh, gym class who would do that. And uh, that's not how you play ping pong, but it is fun. Oh, yeah, you can see the tennis court over there. No way to play on it. There's no tennis mode in this game. Um, it's the same color as the alternate court from Wii Sports, the original. Uh, although there is no Woohoo Island setting there. You're kind of in the middle of nowhere. The original Wii Sports. I got Darth Vader watching us in the background. It's pretty cool. Oh, man. This is probably the one of the more responsive minigames, to be honest. A lot of these minigames are weird to go back to. This one is pretty Max solid. Point. Just when you have to switch sides and you do it too quick and it registers you hitting the ball. It's kind of weird. Um, but it's really just a simplistic... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Net. The net does not count as a bounce. If I had hit that right there, that would have been a no bounce penalty. Um, right against the fence. You can hit over the fence. It's really hard to do. It has to be on the opponent's side doing that. Uh, but that can happen. It's really weird when it happens. Paul just flies to the beach. Um, but, yeah. It's just a nice, simplistic uh, ping pong mode. Uh, nothing too in-depth, obviously, your character is AI-controlled, and, um, kind of just, uh, move on a grid or whatever, I guess, I don't know. It's kind of like, it's like the original Wii Sports Tennis, you don't really control where you go. You don't really need that, really the control of the paddle is all you need. And, um, I don't know, if you want more... In depth tennis, you would either go for a normal tennis game, which would be very boring, or you'd go for Mario Power Tennis, which is a fantastic game. Uh, all those different modes, but that is normal tennis, not ping pong. I guess technically Mario can play ping pong in the Mario and Sonic games. Those are more bite sized uh, mini games. And those are on the Wii, so that would actually be more similar to this. Forget if you actually, like, control your character itself in those games or not. I did, like, a uncommentated playthrough of the original uh, Mario and Sonic, so... Uh, I don't know. You can check on those, I suppose. Um, but, yeah. That's pretty cool. Just a nice, simplistic mode. We've got more people watching us. We've got an alien... No face alien and an actual alien back there. Match point. People from the tennis court watching us. Wouldn't that be funny if, like, in the background there were actually people playing tennis? <laughs> there was just no tennis mode. Wouldn't that be the straightest thing? Damn. Oh. Five. Yeah, when that happens, that ball drops fast. Look at that. Just, like, ugh, right on the ground. Match point. That is a tough stamp to get back from the brink. So... Maybe I'll get that in the vi in this video, maybe not. Again, I'm only doing one video on this mode. We're not doing any double doozies. We're not uh, doing that for any of these, because then I'd have to do it for all of them. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to. Look at that. Look how epic I am. Look at that. Look at that win. Ignore that point that my opponent scored. Doesn't count, and she cheated, clearly. And, uh, yeah, so, of course, you're, uh, you'll gain different amounts of skill for, uh, depending on how many points your opponent scored. If you barely win the match, I think you only get, like, 30 points or something. Pierre. Got a jellyfish watching me. Martin from tennis. Screw you. You came to the wrong game. Why aren't you on the tennis court being an asshole to all the other tennis players? Go play real tennis. Piece of shit. Look at that. Oh, I just socked him in the face. Him or her. Pierre. Pierre's a male name, right? Oh, like right in the face. Right in the friggin' face. All right, you can, you can serve by swinging the remote. I didn't even mean to do that. But you can do that. Get the ball into the pool. There's got to be a lot of uh, lost tennis balls in that pool. Imagine the referee wouldn't be too happy about that, having to give you a new ball. Oh, shoot. We are going fast. And this would be faster on the 11-point. What the fucking? Oh, man. Yeah, that, 
Speed, Speedy Gonzalez coming out of the blue here, just out of nowhere. And, damn. Three, just one. hit a little more to the side. Hit the side of the table. I'm going to do one more match after this. Time is flying in this boat. Holy crud. This is a fun game. It might be simple, but it is fun. Four, one. All right, 4-1. Obviously, I'm not even going to try to get the tiebreaker here. That would be a ridiculous idea. I think that would, I, I, at least I would say probably. Why can I do that to them, but I can't serve it back when they do that to me? Uh, Match point. I don't know. It would take too long to get the tiebreaker stamp here, though, so we are not even going to try to do that. So if you were expecting me to do that and are upset, um, oh well, sorry. <laughs> I'm not just going to go back and forth. It's literally just you get one point, opponent gets another point. It's just, I don't know, it's repetition. It's an interesting little challenge. You really should do it when you're lower leveled. This might be a mistake, too, in this last match here. Against Miss Haru, level 761. Uh, of course, for champions battle, you have to be at level 1450, generally 1500, uh, but 1450 should suffice. And, uh, um, oh boy, seems to be a little more conservative with their uh, speed here and her hitting, but you can tell she ain't playing around. She's probably got some tricks up her sleeve. Holy shit. Oh, that should be the stamp right there. Oh my lord. Yeah, okay, I wasn't kidding um oh wow she really didn't she really didn't go for the power shot she really oh man she hit it against the table um yeah that can happen that's a little weird when that happens um you can also hit it into the net like you can bounce off the net and it obviously won't count as a bounce on the table and that's a penalty you can if you're like really wedged up against the fence actually hit the net itself and that is a point for your opponent, because I uh, didn't even get to their side. And that means you suck, so, uh, yeah, not, uh, not something you want to do, trust me. Especially if you're in a long rally. Now, if I were to make this rally last, what, like 30 hits or whatever? Um, rally the ball 30 times, I think that would be uh, one of the stamps, if I remember correctly. So that would be cool, but I don't really... I think that would be a little time consuming. Of all matches for me to get a perfect round on, I get it on here. With Barack Obama watching in the background and my Olympics, man. That is interesting. But, uh, yeah, so I'm afraid that's all we have time for today, ladies and gentlemen. I would love to play a bit more of uh, ping pong in this game. But, uh, alas, all good things must come to an end. Stamp earned back from the brinks. That's only two out of five, I believe, stamps that I've collected. But whatever, we will just uh, make up for that on uh, the stream. And uh, yeah, so on the next episode of Let's Play Wii Sports Resort, we're going to be playing a little more ping pong. We're going to be doing the return challenge. And uh, yeah, we're going to be rallying the ball back and forth. Well, not... No, they're just going to be throwing balls at you. You just have to return them. But uh, it is a return rally challenge, and it is a lot of fun. And uh, you obviously have to unlock that. I think you just play match mode one time, and that's unlocked, which is pretty cool. And we will play that in tomorrow's video. But that being said, I'm going to go on and sign off. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Today's video, sorry. I hope you look forward to the next one, and I'll see you around. Peace.